Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. The Southern Bell is back, Lindsey Graham. He's teaming up again with his old buddy from the original Gang of Eight, Dick Durbin, Tricky Dick. And they're trying to backdoor you with that same ridiculous Gang of Eight. Now, you do remember who was part of that original Gang of Eight. It was Michael Bennett. Colorado, Dick Durbin, Illinois, Jeff Flake, Arizona, Lindsey Graham, South Carolina, John McCain, may his soul rest in hell, Arizona, Bob Men uh, uh, Menendez, I believe it was, New Jersey, Marco Rubio, Florida, and Chuck Schumer in New York. Now they're calling this one the Dream Act. That sounds like some Obama was trying to do with DACA. Lindsey Graham and Dick Durbin, you ought to hear what they're actually saying now. Lindsey Graham had the unmitigated gall to say that DACA illegal aliens represent a class of illegal immigrants that have much public support because they were minors brought here by their parents and America has become their home. Wait a minute. He said it has a lot of support. Let's put it Let's put it to the test then. Let's vote on it. A real vote, though. You think that most of the Americans want to be dealing with these damn illegals that came over here? Now, I like his argument, though. It's, it's almost laughable. He's saying since their parents broke the law to get them over here, you're responsible for taking care of them because they stayed over here a while. How much of his money he's going to give up? I'm sick of these politicians writing blank checks with the taxpayer's money. Here they go. They go after you for every little thing, but all of a sudden we got plenty extra money for illegals. Let's divide all the extra money they got and give it to American citizens then. You got a bunch of extra money? Tax season is about to roll around. Y'all got all this extra money? Give it back to the Americans. See, this is why I don't agree with what they said Ron DeSantos. People was getting excited about this. He's trying to secure $10 million to fly illegals to Sanctuary City. No run. Divide that $10 million and give it to your damn citizens. Why in the hell are we flying them anywhere? Just don't feed them. They'll go home. That's what I said. Don't feed them. And then in, even in Chicago, residents are outraged that the city is spending millions housing border crossers. They go after you for every little damn thing that you do. They, they, they'll send, they want 87,000 new IRS agents to go after you, but we throwing money at Ukraine. So whatever it takes in Ukraine, however long it takes, every legal who wants to come over, Afghanistan, Mexico, Haiti, Cuba, doesn't make a difference. Come over the right way. Why should we pay? I like to see anybody who says they want to think this is a good idea because, uh, I want you to start taking care of other people's children too then with your money. And then Lindsey Graham goes on to say, to provide relief to this population, we must first convince Americans that the unending wave of illegal immigrants will stop. Ronald Reagan already been down that road. He failed with that one too. Tell us it's going to be the last time. It ain't going to never be the last time because demons are never, their, 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 their soul can never be quenched by what you give them. Giving in to progressives and liberals like Lindsey Graham and Dick Durbin just makes them come back two years later, three years later. I try to tell everybody uh, when Ronald Reagan did, everybody make an excuse. Ain't no excuse for it. I'm not compromising with you. You broke the law. If the law is, if it's okay to break the law, I got a 15 of them I like to break too. And then Dick Durbin comes in and listen to what he said. He suggests that the that amnesty. For DACA illegal aliens is a matter of simple American fairness and justice. Wait a minute. I'm a little confused. DACA illegal aliens is a matter of simple American fairness and justice. Breaking the law is a matter of fairness and justice. You can't make this up. He really thinks that this is part of a matter of American fairness. They're not Americans. They didn't come over the right way. See, if they came over the right way, they can become Americans. But they didn't do that. And you want to reward them for not following our rules. 
and, and, and assimilating to our customs over here. Mm -mm. Ask New York, put them in these five and four star hotels. They destroyed those damn hotels. He said for, he, and then he, he thanked Lindsey Graham for his continual partnership. I told you, this is why I hate Mr. Nuthugger. That's why I call him Nuthugger. Freaking sissy cat man, Lindsey Graham. Teaming up with your enemy. That's why we can't get nothing done in this damn country. Now, this is why I have a problem with all these people going to these Republican platforms. They have these talk shows. You ain't solve no problems. You can talk all you want to. I don't care if they don't like me, but all this talking hasn't solved any problems. All these educated, Ivy League educated, all these big talk show hosts and everything else, they haven't solved the damn problem. It's got worse. Everything that got worse. Ain't no problem being solved. Taking a moral victory over nothing. Ain't nothing been solved. We're trying to spend more money, raise the debt ceiling, while they're trying to over here trying to uh, fund illegal immigrants. And by the way, they said this is at least going to be two million. It's going to be more than that. Because if you put, just say for argument's sake, I agree with you, what I will never do. You let these two million in. Then they're going to tell their family, come on, I'm a citizen now. I want to be with my family. And each one of them, Go have bring about five or six extra people. You're looking at close to 15 or 20 million people off the two million that you're allowed to stay over here. See, this is what Barack Obama tried to do by executive order, DACA. It's unlawful in the first place. Now, some people have estimated, I don't know, I forgot what news site it was. They, they, they wanted to estimate that it was going to be about $115 billion. It's going to be more than that. Whatever figure you come up with, I guarantee it is always way over what you estimated it to be. Because you got to deal with welfare, free housing, criminal activities, the whole nine yards. You just talking about funding them. What about all the other extra stuff you got to be dealing with now? And Lindsey Graham, who's, who's got an R in front of his name, he's as liberal as they come. And come out the closet, Lindsey Graham. Quit pretending, fool. It's irritating. We're spending all this effort and money talking about people who's not even citizens over here while we're suffering. Can I go to Mexico? Can I go to Africa? Can I go to China and get free stuff from no country, those countries? Hell no, I can't. They want to lecture us about what's our duty and stuff. Go back to your own country with that. Come over here the right way. I don't care what country you're from. Send the Afghans back too. How many Ukrainians we done brought over already? It's absurd. The amount of money. It's irresponsible how much money your government spends on catering to other people's citizens. Be like your, your husband or your wife constantly uh, serenading the uh, somebody else. Your husband serenading some other woman. Your, your, your wife is constantly uh, uh, serenading some other man. Building his ego up. We're constantly courting other people's citizens, and they don't do a damn thing for us.